Now, in 2019, 21-year-old Libby Squire was brutally murdered after she became separated from friends on a night out. Yeah, her mum, Lisa, has been campaigning for anti-violence ever since and has now decided to come face-to-face -face with her daughter's killer for a Sky crime series called Libby, Are You Home Yet? And Lisa's here now to remind us of her daughter's legacy. Good morning, a very good morning to good morning. you. A lot of people will wonder why you're doing this. What, I, you obviously, you know, your, your impulse is there, but what do you think you are achieving? I don't know how Libby died, because um, the post-mortem couldn't ascertain how she died. And there's only one person who knows how she died, and that was him. So um, it's, it's a need. I need to find out how she died and what happened to her in, in that time that she was with him. But it could be even more painful for you. If, it, if that's even possible, yeah. it could be more painful. There isn't anything more painful than being without her. Um, and I know what happened that night, but... You know, when you don't have the exact facts, your mind takes you to really dark places. My brain yeah. will fill in the spaces. Um, and I just really w would like to know. Do you, th do you think he will tell you, or is it, as, as we saw with people like the Moors murderers and things, they deliberately held information back to have power. Is he that type, do we think, or do you think he will actually I tell you? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. But um, I think I've... You know, he needs to have the opportunity to tell me. Um, I think I'd be really naive if I think that on the first meeting he's going to say, oh, I did this, I did this, mm. and this happened. So um, You'd yeah. have to be seriously compassionate and very, very sorry, wouldn't he, yes. to even give you yes. that level of honesty? Um, I don't think he and is. You don't yet. think that's going to no. happen? You don't think yeah. he, I mean, you will have seen him in the court case. Yes, yes. So, but, I mean, what impression did you get of him then? He didn't really... He didn't really give anything out in, in court and certainly Could wasn't... Could you even look at him? Yes, I looked at him all the time, actually. I remember my um, family liaison officer said, you will stare at him for a good number of days and then all of a sudden you'll think, oh, I'm bored of looking at you. And it, it was very true. Um, but, yes, he, he didn't show any remorse in court and I'm sure he's, he's not remorseful yet, but, you know, I still you, feel that need to be do, there. Do you think it might bring about some remorse well, I mean, because by by having a conversation with you by you sitting as close as this yes, to him yeah. it's going to bring but it's going to bring to him a reality which perhaps even now he hasn't quite grasped yes because it makes libby a real person rather than a something mm. because obviously he wasn't with her for very long you know just mm. a matter of 20 minutes i think so yes yeah yes yeah so yes it will make it a reality, possibly. Mm. Well, do we know anything of his family? Because if you can, if he, you're sitting in front of him and you're a mother, um, and he must have had a mother, he must yes. have a mother. Yeah. He, you know, maybe there's something you might be able to bring out in him that yes, he's possibly. never had to be faced with before. Yes, and you know, he, he wasn't a lot older than Libby, so you know, we have. I am probably old enough to be his mother. Mm. So yeah, possibly that would you, that will. Have you, I hope. Have you will. had any advice on? Where to start? How to how to compose yourself? How to even go there? No, I'm um, not yet because um, we haven't got a date, no. you know. And, and he could still pull out at any time, um, which and is that's of course his power. And that's his power, yes. Um, and I have no say in that. But you know, um, I wouldn't, I won't give up if he does that. I'll try again another time. So, so he has um, agreed at this stage. In, to in principle, make... yes, he's agreed to see me. Yeah, but that's as far as it's got at the moment. It, I mean, it, it, what have your what are your family and friends telling you? They're really split. Um, my husband completely understands why I want to do it, but, you know, it says... He I doesn't can... want to. Oh, no. <laughs> no, definitely not. Um, my children are, you know, they're very... I don't think they really understand it, but, you know, they're young, so I don't expect them to. Um, my friends, some say, oh, no, you definitely shouldn't do it, and others are like, yeah, go for it, you know, so... Is there an... And there may well not be, and there's no criticism either way, but I've talked to mothers previously in some high-profile cases who have met their killer, the killers of their children. And they've had an element of forgiveness about them. There you know? is. Forgiveness does not come into it. I can't, you, I can't forgive someone for taking one of my children away from me. No. Never, ever. Um, I've said, I've been quite public in saying I don't hate him. Um, and I'm not angry with him because that it does, anger is not, I don't do anger very well, so I, you know, I choose not to go down there. And I don't hate him, mainly because I don't think, I don't have any feelings towards him. I... Mm. I you know, don't... Well, actually, ha them. hate and bitterness, though, is very destructive to you, Yes, yeah. It? And I've, I have a life to continue. I've got three other children, you know, and I've got to be 
you know, as, as present as I can be. And, and I know hate and bitterness would take me down a very dark path and I'm not prepared to go there. Do you, th do you ever think, thank God for your three other children? Oh, yeah. Because yeah. without them, yeah. there would be very little reason to Absolutely. go Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, they are the reason that I'm still here and keep going on. And, you know, and they are amazing. Mm. They are wonderful children. I'm really proud of them. Uh, and my husband and, you know, all my family are amazing. Mm. So I'm really... I mean, yeah. it, was a, it was a dreadful time yeah. you went through. I was particularly aware of it because my nephew was at Hull University at the time. Oh, was he? Um, and had seen your daughter out and about as they all <laughs> mingle and meet things. And, and that period of time where nobody knew what had happened, he found very difficult mm. and his friends found very difficult. I can't imagine what you went through. It was horrendous. Um, I knew really from the, when I got the phone call to say that they didn't know where she was, that, that she was dead. I had that really strong inkling that that was the case. But you jump from that to having hope and then going back to not. And it was, I don't know, I, I actually can't think now how we got through that 48 days. Mm. What it was, was she like? Tell us about her. She was, oh, she was, she was so funny. She was, she was, everything she did, she did with 100% conviction. You know, she, she was funny. She was a, a great big sister. She adored her, her siblings. She was a great friend, you know, a great, um, amazing daughter. I mean, she was, she could be equally annoying as wonderful <laughs> because she was a human being at the end of the day. But yeah, she's, she's left a massive hole. But yeah, really, loved by everybody and and she was just so what you saw was what you got you know she was amazing and at, is amazing and, and at that point where she was ex beginning to explore life on her own yeah I mean she'd had a she'd had a really difficult time in her mid-teens um, with her mental health and then had got herself in a really good place and went to university and was absolutely flourishing she was becoming the woman I always knew she could be and well I suppose a lot of people have told you don't, don't let her be defined by her death Remember her life. Yes, absolutely. And I suppose that's, that's something you've got yeah, to concentrate on. Absolutely. I think at the, up until now we have been focusing on how she died and not how she lived, but that mm. will come in time. Mm. Um, there's lots to do still around her death. But, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm finding now I am beginning to think more about how she lived rather than how she died, which... Is, can you remember her with a smile oh, as, gosh, as yes. much as... Oh, Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, she just... I, I think about... I can be sat here just being quite upset. And then I think of something she did and I would be laughing with, you know, tears would be rolling down my face from laughter because she was so funny. You know, she was lovely. Well, I do hope you find some peace with this extraordinary meeting mm. that you oh, yeah, probably so. have. And um, some yeah. answers. And some... And, well, yeah. even if I get a degree of peace. I, yes, uh, just, you know... Something. Just to be, able to, to be able to say to her, I've tried really hard to, to find out what happened to you. Mm. is important to me. Yeah, she'll know. I'm sure. Lisa, pleasure talking to you. And it really Thank is. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You very much. Yeah, well done for your courage. Thank you.